Morning, Steve for the grain, uh, morning grain comments. Well, overnight prices are, are mixed with corn and beans lower, wheat higher. Uh, since the hurricane, we've seen November beans drop from 1336 to 1285, Deese corn 558 to 532, and Chicago wheat 745 to 719. Um, we still have no electricity in as far as to the plants uh, at terminals in, in New Orleans area, and so um, there is some question as to how much exports we can do uh, without um, uh, that electricity. We also noted that um, since last fall, open interest has dropped from 4.4 million acre contracts in all the grains to only 3.1 currently. Most of the decline is in corn, but also in soybeans. Number one, because the weather uh, was okay over, let's say, two thirds of the U.S., and export exports decline, and new sales have also been slower than what we normally see this time of year. We also note down in Brazil that uh, their corn exports probably will be closer to 17 million tons in U.S. days 23. But next year, U.S. days got their crop at 118 million tons, up 35 from this year. But will La Nina lower that crop estimate also? Uh, we noted that uh, the while the U.S. is competitive in the export market, there is some Canada corn moving into Northern Europe, Ukraine to Spain, and Baltic corn is still cheaper than U.S. Over in the soybeans, there is talk that China came in and is asking for prices of PMW U.S. soybeans. And also, we'll be watching pretty closely as to the soybean crush. July crush right now should be 165 million bushels, up a little bit from June at 162, but well below last year's 184. As far as weather is concerned, we've got some showers across uh, the northern Midwest, and then um, we also have rain, remnants of the hurricane in the east coast. Um, a 8 to 14 day map is warmer um, in the west, cool in the east, but drier for harvest conditions. South American weather, Brazil is dry, but Argentina is seeing some showers. We're also seeing some showers in, in the Black Sea. We did note that farm futures came out and said that next year's corn acres in the US, United States could be 94.3, up 2%, beans 90.8, up 4%, and all wheat 49.7, up 6%. Of that spring wheat, 14.3, up 9%. So again, um, we're just kind of looking at um, just the money flow into our markets. Um, we need demand for the markets to find a, a bottom uh, there is talk about a post-harvest rally, but a lot of that will depend upon the size of the U.S. crop. We'll know more on the USDA September 10th report as far as yields being up or down from their August estimate, even though crop ratings are down from August 1. And then we'll see what they do with the global demand. Um, and uh, finally, uh, we'll just see what the farmers sell at harvest time. As always, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM, ADM Investor Services. Have a safe and profitable trading day. And remember, always treat people like you yourself would like to be treated.